I was pretty neurotic when it came to finding the best launcher. When you're at a certain age, the idea of gaming switches to a whole new concept. Instead of actually playing your games like you did when you were young and you actually enjoyed it and you loved that sweet, sweet dopamine, right now you might have found yourself turning on whatever launcher, probably Steam, and just looking at your games, looking at the game covers, getting some dopamine, feeling good about yourself, and then closing it because you simply don't have the time. This is what gaming in their 30s is like. We are living in a very dark age for the gaming industry where every company is too damn selfish to put all their games in one centralized place. And the victim here is the consumer, me, you, and other people like us, which now have to have their games spread out over a million launchers. It's annoying as all hell. Thankfully, we have solutions like Play Night, GOG Galaxy, and other solutions like the one that I talked in the last video about using Heroic Launcher in Steam. You can find the video around here somewhere. But for the longest time, I tried to find a solution for having my games both on Steam and Epic and GOG. And I used Play Night and I used GOG Galaxy for this. You might ask yourself which one is the best. Well, it really depends on what you want. GOG Galaxy is awesome because you actually have game time saved on their servers, no matter the platform. So you can actually look back on your activity five years from now, let's say, and you can actually see how much you played Shadow of the Tomb Raider from Epic, for example. Whereas in Play Night, you can still do this to a certain extent, but you won't be covered if you install a game from outside a specific store. For example, if you manually install a GOG game, then you are on your own. Whereas in GOG Galaxy, you don't have to worry about this. You can install actual case, by the way. You can install Need for Speed Underground, the one from 2003, I think. And you have your game time saved and synced across devices, which I think is pretty awesome. Play Night, however, is if I am to loosely compare it with something. In terms of interface, it's like an open source version of Steam. It has a similar kind of user experience to it, and it has a big picture mode as well. GOG Galaxy doesn't have one. And that's awesome in case you want to have a setup box in front of the living room TV or something. However, Play Night, in my experience at least, is pretty slow. It doesn't look the best. The custom team kind of sucks. Where there are custom teams, you can team Play Night to hell and back to your desired preference. So that wouldn't be a problem. The problem is that it's way more sluggish than GOG Galaxy. And it suffers from the same problem, meaning that if you launch an epic game, it will because it has to, it will also open the Epic Games launcher in the background. And so you never run away and you never really fix the multiple launcher problem that I talked about in my last video over here. If I'm to be objective about it, if you are to only launch your games via the desktop mode, and if you're running Windows, then go for GOG Galaxy, simply because it has cloud synced game time, which I think is super awesome and you can install a game from anywhere and it would still have this feature supported. But if you want to have big picture mode and if you want a more Steam-like UI, then go for Play Night. Really, you can't go wrong with any of them. It's a personal experience thing. What I would suggest is download both. You can't go wrong with either. And then you decide. I started with GOG Galaxy when I realized I can have all of the games centralized in one place. And then I moved to Play Night and then I moved back to GOG Galaxy. And my brain was like, my brain literally hated me from digesting this dilemma in my head for so long. But yeah, if you're in the situation where you have multiple launchers in your system tray, download either of them. I think they will be good. But if you want a more plug and play experience, I would actually say go for GOG Galaxy at first, try it out, there's nothing that you can lose really with this, except your soul and your gaming accounts. I'm kidding, there's nothing that can happen. Relax, it's all good. I'm a guy on the internet, you can trust me. Uh, no, no, seriously, you can trust me, you should totally trust me. Tell me what you think, are you using any of these launchers? I'm really curious of your experience with either of them. See you next time.